I am the principal at Our Lady Star of the Sea School, and I must say, since I came here three years ago, Bill Gormley has been such an asset to the school and to the community that I don't know what I would do without him. He has ran significant fundraisers for myself. He has also brought people in to volunteer and to really get involved with the school. We are getting ready to build a giant steam lab in our former computer lab. And without his support and his contributions, I could not have done it without him. I must say that if anyone is deserving of being honored, it is definitely former Senator Bill Gormley. I don't know whether to say that Bill Gormley's energy is only outmatched by his talent or his talent is only outmatched by his energy, but for sure I can say that Bill Gormley has a superhuman combination of talent and energy. He is a relentless pursuit of good causes and he has an unmatched skill for building teams to achieve them. I'm so grateful for everything that he's done at Our Lady Star of the Sea School while I was pastor here, that he's done before I was here, that he's done since I've left. He's amazing. Thank you, Bill, for really making Star of the Sea School exceptional in the Atlantic City area. Good evening, everyone. My name is John Farmer. I'm the director of the Eagleton Institute of Politics at Rutgers University. Tonight, it's my distinct privilege to introduce this year's Mendel Award honoree, Bill Gormley. Those of you who know him know that Bill constantly downplays his intellect, his skill as a lawyer, even his motives. I'm here tonight to blow Bill's cover. He worked tirelessly to promote the economic growth of Atlantic City and Atlantic County, pushing the renovation of the Boardwalk Hall, the Convention Center, the Atlantic City Rail, the Brigantine Connector, and the Atlantic City Airport. He became a dominant force in the state Senate. If you wanted to know how to get something done in Trenton, you would talk to Bill. My name is Gene Schrader. I've known Bill for a long time, uh, I guess now going on over half a century at least. We went to the prep together and then uh, also went to Notre Dame. And uh, I thought about this when they said they were going to award Bill this honor last year. And I know they must be serious about it because they had a whole year to rescind it and they didn't. So okay. to me that's a good sign that he must be a worthy uh, recipient. Good evening. I'm here to talk about my dear friend Senator Bill Gormley. I'm honored to uh, to be here tonight and I'm more honored to have a friendship and have served in the state senate with Bill Gormley. Uh, he's the most consequential legislator I've ever worked with. What he's done during his time in Trenton is unbelievable, unmatched, unparalleled. Uh, I will tell you that it's um, coincidental we're talking about St. Augustine. I just didn't know much about St. Augustine so I looked it up like everybody went on Google and found out a couple of things and one of the quotes that came out about from St. Augustine he talks about no saints without a past and no sinners without a future I think it's a little bit appropriate dealing with Bill Gormley. Hi Grandpa Bill I'm so proud of you for winning this award you deserve it um, and I miss you. Hey Bill remember this? What was it, 60 some years ago when we came here? We were what, 14 years old? Well, it's come a long way. You look around, you see these beautiful buildings, the manicured lawns. It's come a long way from that little one building school that we started. And do you remember the friendships that were developed, the brotherhood? I know you, as far as I'm concerned, more than anybody is a prime example of how the brotherhood works. Bill's also an intensely loyal and compassionate person. His marriage to Ginny and love for his family has been a bedrock source of strength for him. And his kindness and compassion have been expressed in his support for charities like Big Brothers and Big Sisters, Atlantic City Friends of Music, and the Sisters of Charity. Every morning when he got on the bus, he would look around and say, don't talk to me, I gotta do my homework. So I think that speaks um, volumes for what Bill was doing uh, outside of school activity. My favorite memories with my grandpa are all the trips we've taken to Notre Dame together. Whenever we go as a family, it's always so much fun. Everything from touring the campus, visiting the Golden Dome, all the football games, basketball games, with Muffet McGraw, and even shopping at the bookstore, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. One day, I hope to follow in your footsteps, Grandpa, and continue my academic career at Notre Dame. Congratulations on this honor. You deserve it. I love you, and go Irish!
congratulations, Grandpa Bill, for your uh, for your new award. Um, I'm really proud of you, and I'm working right now, but I will call you as soon as possible. Thanks for giving me just a moment to talk about my friend, my colleague, my mentor, my inspiration, Senator Bill Gormley. I'll always think of him that way, you see. I've known him for about 50, more than 15 years. We met in Trenton when I was running the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. And he was helping to advocate for clean energy down in Atlantic City, for job and opportunity down in Atlantic County, and for clean water, clean air, and clean land on which to develop and bring economic opportunity into this wonderful part of our state. But we've continued our journeys, and as time has moved on. I moved from New Jersey to Washington DC and then from Washington DC I now work at Apple and once again I got a call from Senator Gormley and when it was it wasn't for anything for himself it wasn't for business it was for kids in Atlantic City so we at Apple now sponsor the technology for the STEAM Center at the Atlantic City Boys and Girls Clubs. That program's growing because it was seeded, conceived, and nurtured by Senator Gormley. That program is emblematic of everything I've ever known about him. The same values he learned at St. Augustine Prep. The values of service, of bringing yourself and your community into your work, of community-centered life's work. Bill Gormley, a name that has so much meaning in this community. A man that has stood side by side with so many of us through so many important opportunities and challenges. He's done so much to help everyone in the state of New Jersey, but what he has done most recently with young kids is the most impressive thing. My favorite memory of my grandpa is when he brought me my beautiful dog, Samson. This is my favorite memory because when he brought me him, my dog had recently died from old age. This is why this is my favorite memory of my grandpa. Love you, Grandpa. There's not many people that can say they've had close friendships with one person for over 60 years, but that's something I'm very proud to say I have with you. We wanted to take our Jersey Armory and turn it into a track and field facility and a recreation area for the inner city in Jersey City. I was told that I, to get uh, Bill's help, that I had to reach out. As soon as I called him, he was tremendously helpful. He was able to get us the remaining money. If you've picked a very wonderful person to receive this uh, this honor. A few things I enjoyed with my grandfather was going to Notre Dame's beautiful campus. It was a really great experience. Something else I enjoyed with my grandfather was going to Citizens Bank Park to watch the Phillies by the Yankees, my two favorite baseball teams. Thank you, Grandpa. I love you. I love Bill. He's been one of the most influential leaders in my life. And what he's doing now, working with the young men and women uh, in Atlantic City, working with Apple and others, uh, bringing about significant change, life-changing change to these individuals, giving them hope, raising money here today for the school that he was a part of at St. Augustine's. So congratulations to my dear friend. Congratulations to his family who has to tolerate him. But mostly congratulations to you for turning out such a wonderful example of Augustinian values. Congrats. Atlantic Care is proud to be a friend of yours, and again, thank you for your leadership over the years and your support for all that matters to this community. Bill, congratulations. You're well deserving of this honor, and I wish you the best. Congratulations, Bill Gormley. I'm very proud of you, and I'm uh, thrilled to be your friend. Bill has been a friend to me and my family. I will never forget his kindness in driving out to Valley Forge to have lunch with my dad before he died. A million and one gestures like that to find a life well lived. Bill has led such a life and is richly deserving of this year's Mendel Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Gormley.